So I'm out here today. Captain Charles, myself, and uh, our new friend. It's called the wind. <laughs> very rough, very windy. Don't even think y'all could hear me that well. Waves, pretty big waves. And at the end, well, the mother nature's down there. We're at the South Jetties. I don't know what we're gonna do. Freeport Jetties, rather. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. We just got here. And uh, yeah, pretty windy. I'm gonna walk down there, show you a little bit of what this wind is going on. You can see it is it's very, very, very bad. Alright, so I'm going to see how close I can get. I'm already wet, but I don't want to get soaked. Because i got jeans on it. It's, jeans are terrible to be wet. Let's see, it's a big wave. You fall in this current and this water and you're in trouble. Very slippery. Oh, got it. I got it on that one. It's gonna get me. get down to the end and I am so soaked. I'm wet. They can read my pants out. This way. Ah! They're kicking my butt. Follow me all the way down. Yeah, it's terrible. Not even 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm soaked. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. I don't even know if I should even try to fish or what we're gonna do. We have this we have bait, we have stuff. Just way down there, it's like super, super freaking waves are crashing over the end. It's just nuts. I got soaked already. Um it's dry down here. That side is bananas too because waves are coming over the side. This side is rough. We had a south wind and it's almost east southeast, it feels like. It's supposed to be blowing out of the northeast yesterday. Charles is over there. There's there's pelicans diving and diving and diving all on this side. So I'm not too sure what's going on. Charles is casting in it. Um, I'm going to cast a few times over here and kind of wait and see. I don't know if he's getting anything. I'm not too sure what is going on over there. But I do see birds diving. I don't really want to cast into the wind the wind is like super strong like you're not going to get any kind of distance on it you're almost going to be in the rocks even if there is even if there is fish there you're almost going to cast in the rocks um charles has come back with a report and then we'll see how good the fish are what the what the birds were doing or what they were working on but yeah um we stopped we got some stuff some cut mullet for charles's big rod we have some live shrimp Figured we'll catch something out here.
All right, so really nothing going on. I think we've been out here about like an hour and a half, close to two hours. I'm not even sure if y'all can hear me. Um, we're gonna hit another little spot right, right around the corner, not too far from here, and see if we can get onto some fish. I do have a patron that's on his way, so I tried to warn him several times uh, what the conditions were, but we're probably running to him, or at least give him our coordinates so he can meet up. But we're gonna we're gonna take the skunk. The walk of shame. <laughs> well, I, I air dried, so that's good. so we made a few stops along the way and uh still no fish big old fat skunk we are end up in galveston we're gonna be fishing throwing some live shrimp and see if we can catch also want to fish on the bottom a little bit fish for some flatties but it's not looking real promising for charles and myself we're gonna keep trying though it ain't over till it's over have a net either I don't trust this little hook Woo, big ugly like yep right on, man. I, I have a small small hook though I'm afraid it's gonna rip oh. out when I pull them out all right oh hold that hold that right there you got one of them uh clips, right? a lipper it's on my uh it's on my uh, bag on the shoulder strap Bring them up right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang, baby boy. Come on, man. What is up with his belly button? <laughs> he done strained the poop out of it. Yeah, baby. Finally. Somebody thought something. Look at that beauty. Does he need a black girl? I don't know. This is pretty good. He got a. Yeah, he got a hook pretty good. Oh. Dude, I thought I was afraid to pull it out because. But yeah, he got it pretty good. I was just coming over here to get mine. <clears throat> Twenty-two inch. 22 inch black drum all day trying to work for it working hard for my money. well you know that was it you know you can never predict what mother nature is going to do and although the winds were forecasted to be out of the northeast when we got down there to surfside jetty it was more blowing out of the east southeast and we had some big waves crashing over uh around the middle of the jetty there and on the other side uh near was Surfside Park is you couldn't even walk down uh, that jetty it was just really really crazy with the winds crashing over from one side to the other um, you know we had to throw a quick option plan B because the water was super dirty it was extremely dirty on the beach side and we had a lot of waves coming coming in and as soon as you would throw your line out you know, the waves were pushing you against and towards the rock so you know we had to do a quick audible we went and hit a couple of those places around there. So one spot that we hit was a little park not too far from the jetty. And when we walked up, we saw this gar. It looked like someone caught it. 
and it, it was just you know on the bank you know a lot of times you see that it's, people would just catch fish and discard them right there it was pretty dried out just a little guy probably about maybe about 15 inches or so um and he was pretty dried out and i thought he was dead and i reached down to touch him and he started moving and um to my surprise so what it looked like was that he was kind of washed up we had real strong south winds overnight um or the previous day so it looked like he washed up on the bank so after spending several minutes with him i was able to revise him and revive him and he lived so that's pretty Hello, cool bar. You know, if we wouldn't have stopped there, that little guy would have definitely died, which is very surprising because he probably spent a good number of hours uh, on the bank there. I know they do breathe air, but good thing that uh, a predator or a bird didn't get a hold of him. But we would we fished there on the banks for a little while, and we saw him come up several times. So that was awesome to see. And then had to throw a quick audible, ended up running to some private docks in Galveston and able to catch a 22-inch black drum. So that was it. That was a wrap. That and a few other little pinfish is all that we caught for the day. But you know what? That's why it's called fishing. I enjoyed the day. I had a great time out there with Captain Charles. His information is in the description section. If you are looking for a guided trip, whether boat, kayak, wayfish, this guy is the guy for you. Also, don't forget, I do have a Patreon. My Patreons found out about this trip the day it happened. I gave a quick fishing report. I believe the next morning I gave a fishing report. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, if you want fishing reports and extra footage and clips of or even if you are new to fishing or new to some of the areas that we are fishing or you just need a refreshing course if you took the season off uh the fall winter season off um and you need a refresher course on some of the stuff and tips uh help that learning curve just a little bit and then check out the patreon because i am posting on their daily and giving everybody insight fish reports never seen behind the scene footage and so on so Check it out. Link is in the description section below. Until next time, I hope you catch me hooking up. Thanks.